Hey folks, this is Stan Daly, Century 21 Legacy, coming to you today from 105 Willow Ridge Drive, Chucky, Tennessee. This is part two of a video tour of this home. In part one, I ended on the main floor. Now I'm going to take you upstairs and show you the additional bedroom spaces. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen steps to get up here. Big vaulted ceilings here from the main level. This is looking down on your kitchen. And there's the back deck there through the uh, French doors. Here is the dormers that let a lot of additional light into the living space here. Front entry, staircase coming up, swing back around. All right, here we have the hall bath with tiled floors, solid surface material, attractive faucet, there's your toilet again. A single piece tub and shower enclosure, fiberglass unit, acrylic, if you will. All right, Delta single hand handled faucet there. Here is one of the first of the second two bedrooms upstairs. The master was on the main, as you recall. Not a bad sized bedroom, approximately, mm, roughly 12 by 12. It's quiet in here. I must say I don't hear traffic from outside. However, I do hear a bath fan here. Let's turn that off real quick. I don't believe the air conditioning is on right now. I do hear that. Okay, this bedroom is approximately the same size as the other one. I'd say probably between 11 to 12 feet by 11 feet, 12 feet. There's your views. She's still cutting grass. Mm -mm. I picked the wrong time to come over here. The neighbor next door was cutting grass. All righty. Okay. Two nice sized bedrooms here, plenty adequate. This one has a small closet, I have a feeling. Yeah, a little closet here. Okay. Let's go back downstairs and show you the basement. Again, real solid stairs. I mean, I'm hearing just a light creak, but they're very, hmm, <laughs> spoke too soon. Just a bit of a creak there that could be worked out. But overall, these floors feel very solid. There's no sponginess to it. Okay, again, just spin through here real quick. Back down the main level. Beautiful kitchen. Back through there was the utility room leading out into the garage. That's where the washer and dryer would be. 
Again, here's that master bedroom. Master bath. All right, let's go downstairs. Kind of a dated thermostat. Eh, be replaced cheap enough. Okay, staircase going down. Typical, narrow, somewhat steep. Quite a few stairs here. Eh, roughly about 14 stairs. All right, so we're down in the basement. There's those engineer floor joists I was telling you about. That attributes to that quiet, solid feel of the uh, floor systems. Your piping, plumbing is CPVC. That white piping there. Mechanical work looks neat. Plumbing work, HVAC. All right, here's the um, another garage here as well. You had the two car up on the main level coming in off the street there on the driveway. Then you've got another one car garage beneath. Lots of storage back here. Tons of storage in this basement. I mean, there are some condition issues with this house. For example, the underside of that deck is a little worse for wear, considering the house is about 16 years old. Looks like it needs to be uh, addressed. I don't know if it necessarily needs to be replaced, but it looks a little funky. A couple things I did notice about out out here um, some it's rained a lot we had a lot of rain yesterday it's a little washout going on in here I mean there's gutters on the house and there's an overhang as you see but this area here is kind of washed out in my opinion you probably need if there's not already A French drain system through here needs to be installed. Look at this washout right here. Yeah, this this needs to be addressed. I believe you could come in with a French drain, which I, I'm sure there probably is one, and peel back this dirt and grass, put in uh, some backfill gravel, piping and then contour the ground away from the house um, I think that could be that could be fixed I don't think that's a huge deal Some of the views here are just beautiful really pretty setting uh, there's your foundation um, something going on with the siding over here it's kind of wonky there's a condition issue there I mean you could fix this easy enough I'm actually kind of surprised they didn't fix it before they marketed it alright there you go again more of the setting here You got architectural style shingles on here. Probably would guess they're original. Okay. Again, let's see if you can see some of this over here. Just need to replace a few runs of siding there. 
maybe do something with that block there where it's Need to put a sealer on it, and paint it, maybe. You can tell there's a veneer on this house. On the majority of it, it's got a veneer of a rock looking product, if you will. Uh, units look to be um, age appropriate. This house was built in 2006, so it's kind of at that window. It's 16 years old. It's going to need some things at some point, as all houses do. out like this real quick just a beautiful setting here you know could it be quieter yeah there is that highway there that's uh, US uh, 321 or um, 11e runs from Greenville to Johnson City and beyond on the other ends on down through other parts of Tennessee and on up into Virginia so anyway folks this is Stan Daly Century 21 Legacy this is part two of a tour of 105 Willow Ridge Drive in Chucky Tennessee I appreciate you watching if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Let's pan over one more time and get a look at that view. It is stunning. Even with the road over there, it's stunning. Folks, you have a wonderful night. Thank you for watching. Take care. And talk to you soon.